This video is about a different way to think of one of everyone's favorite topics, long division. Wait, hear me out. I'm not going to show you how to do long division. Instead, I'm going to help you find a different way to think about it and understand not just how to do it, but why it works and why long division is a good way to do division. Long division is an example of an algorithm. An algorithm is just a series of steps you follow to perform a task. For most tasks, there are lots of different algorithms, some of which are better than others. What makes one algorithm better than another? I'm glad you asked. Well, usually we answer this in terms of the resources the algorithm uses. A resource is just something you have. The most important resource we usually think about is time meaning faster algorithms are generally considered better than slower ones. There can be other resources too, like, say, eggs. Consider an algorithm for cracking an egg into a bowl. Most people do it by cracking the egg against the side of the bowl or against the countertop, and then carefully cracking the egg into the bowl. There are lots of ways to tweak this algorithm to improve the amount of shell you get in the bowl, but either of these approaches are pretty good. There are other ways to do it too. For example, you could toss the egg up in the air and try to catch it in the bowl, but this algorithm would be considered expensive in terms of at least two resources, eggs and parental patience. I think it's pretty safe to say that would not be a good algorithm. People usually think about algorithms as being the domain of mathematicians and computer scientists, but anyone who has ever figured out how to do something systematically has created an algorithm. And just as we try to find good ways to do the things that we do in our day-to-day -day lives, we like to find good algorithms for math and computer problems as well. How do you find a good algorithm? There are techniques, but when it comes right down to it, usually you start with a not very good algorithm and try to improve it. Today, we're going to talk about algorithms for the task of dividing one number by another, and we're going to evaluate those algorithms based on how much time they take. Time is the most important resource for algorithm designers to consider because it's one thing you can't just buy more of. We'll start off with a simple, slow way to do division, and we'll work our way up to a much better and faster way to do it, and then we'll show that the fast way is exactly the same as the long division algorithm we all know and love. I'm hoping this will teach you a little bit about algorithms, and I'm also hoping that you'll have a deeper insight into how long division works. Shall we get started? Let's review what division really means. When we divide a larger number by a smaller number, we are really just asking how many groups of the smaller number we can pull out of a group whose size is the larger number. The answer has two parts, the number of small groups we can pull out and the number left over. We call the number left over the remainder. Let's start by dividing 87 by 5. What's the simplest way to do it? Just take a pile of 87 things and see how many groups of 5 we can pull out and how many are left over. To help us, I'd like to introduce my two assistants, Jay and Lila. Thanks for being here. Over to you. Thanks for that introduction. Now my partner and I are going to show you some division. This is, um, sorry, it looks like she's maybe fallen asleep. Let me see if I can wake her up. You wake? Is it Christmas? Um, Christmas? No, sorry, it's not Christmas. Christmas? 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 <laughs> Christmas? Christmas? No, sorry, it's not Christmas. <laughs> Um, but, but I have something just about as good as Christmas. I mean, division. We're going to divide 87 by 5. Isn't that 
Isn't that like as good as Christmas? No. No? Do I get presents? Uh, well, yeah, maybe I'll give you these little pieces of paper after we're all done. Yeah, no. Well, well, I'm sorry, it's not Christmas, but we're going to divide 87 by 5 anyway. Is that, is it going to lead to Christmas? Like well, Christmas. eventually. So, you know, when you divide 87 by 5, all you're really doing is asking how many times can you pull groups of 5 out of 87 things, right? So we have 87 things, and we're going to pull out groups of 5. We're going to pull out these little piles, and we're going to make little piles of 5. You ready? Let's start. Okay. One, two, three... These Four, are not presents. Five. No, I'm sorry, they're not presents. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Five. Isn't this fun? Really? Why they be unwrapping presents? Oh. One, two, three. Five. How are you doing over there? One. Christmas. I know. Two. Christmas. Christmas. Three, Christmas. Four. Five. And we've just got two left. All right, so we have two left, and let's see how many piles we have. How many piles do you have? One. See, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine piles. Eight. You have eight. So that's 17 piles with two left. That's 17 with the remainder two. And that is 85, 87 divided by five. I can see you're really excited, and I'm glad, I'm glad to see that level of excitement. That's really good. Not very excited. Well, it looks like they had a great time there, but I wonder whether we can make it even better. It took them about two minutes to pull 17 groups of five out of 87 squares. What if we had 800 squares or 8,000 squares? They'd be at it for a long time. This algorithm may be simple to do and easy to understand, but it's super slow, especially as the numbers get big. How can we make it better? Well, one thing we could do would be to pull more squares out at a time. Let's say when we pull out squares, we pull out two at a time. Instead of counting one, two, three, four, five, we would count two, four, six, eight, ten. Each group of 10 we pulled out would count as two groups of five. This would be true whether we pulled groups of one counting two at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Or whether we pulled out individual squares each representing two items. Two, four, Six, eight, ten. That should speed things up, shouldn't it? Let's try it that way. Okay, well, we're back. We're going to do another 87 divided by 5, but we're taking a little shortcut. These little green squares have the number 2 on them. And when we pull out groups of 5 from these, each group counts as 2. So let's see how many groups of five we can pull out of this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oopsie, I got too many. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Well, okay. So we've got how many groups of five do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven, eight. Seven, eight. And we have a one, and we have three groups of two. But there's a little bit of a problem because three groups of two, three groups of two and a one together add up to seven, and that's more than five. So there's still five, there's still a five hiding in here. Where, where is it? Well, it's in the twos. We need, we need to convert these twos back into ones so that we can pull out the last group of five. How do you do that? Well, luckily, we have a magic box. And this magic box, you can drop in three twos. And how many ones do you get out, you think? Six. Six ones, right? So we're going to do that. We're going to drop it in the magic box. And we're going to pull out an envelope. And what's in our envelope? Ones. Some ones. Six ones. Six ones. So let's count out five groups of five. How many groups of five can we pull out of there? One. One? Yep. You got it? All right. So what do we have now? Eight groups of two, which accounts for how many groups of... That's like how many groups of one? Sixteen. Eight groups of two is sixteen groups of one. Plus, another group of 1 is 17, with a remainder of 2. 17, remainder 2. It's the same answer we got last time. So, this was a little easier, right? A little shorter. Still, yeah. maybe not quite Christmas, but, but like better than what we had Christmas. before. Don't you think it was better? It was better? It, it was, but it's not, not, not as good as Christmas. All right, not as good as Christmas, but, but better, still better than we had. All right. That's I'd it. actually rather be doing this than unwrapping presents. Oh, well, that's quite a, quite a step. I'm kidding. So what have we learned? Our method of pulling out larger groups can be simplified by making some of the squares count as more than one. Whatever number is on the square, that's the number of groups each group of five of those counts as. So in this case, a group of five twos counts like two groups of five. Here's a little bonus for you. That's a nifty way to show that two times five equals five times two. Is this making sense so far? Well, we're almost there. Can we make it faster still? We sped this up by pulling out these supergroups, each one of which counts as more than one group of five. We had the number two on our supergroup squares, so each group counted like two groups of five. But wouldn't a bigger number be even faster? What about groups of groups? Then we could really fly at this. We're almost ready for our last demo, but before we go on, here's a little reminder about numbers. When you see the number 87, it looks like an eight next to a seven, but what does that really mean? Well, it really means eight groups of 10 and seven groups of one. We have some groups of larger things, in this case tens, and some groups of smaller things, in this case one. Sound familiar? This is just like what we did with the twos, except this time our group sizes are 10 and one instead of two and one. When you have an even longer number, the pattern continues. Let's take the number 827. What does that mean? It means eight groups of 100, two groups of 10, and seven groups of one. And here's something interesting. Just like one group of 10 counts like 10 groups of one, one group of 100 counts like 10 groups of 10. So our eight groups of 100 count like 80 groups of 10, and our two groups of 10 count like 20 groups of one. So we have 800 plus 20 plus 7, which is 827. So just like we can trade a 2 for two ones, we can trade a 100 for 10 tens and a 10 for 10 ones. Got it? Hopefully it'll make a little more sense after this next scene. In our final scene, we're going to divide the number 827 
by 5. Remember, 827 is just 8 groups of 100, 2 groups of 10, and 7 groups of 1. Let's see what we have. Hey guys. We're here, Jay and Lila, we're here to, to talk about, uh, you know, our division problem here. And um, uh, we're going to divide the number 827 by 5. And so we have here 8 100 squares, 2 10 squares, and 7 1 squares. And we're going to have, um, we're going to have some help. We're going to have some help dealing with the hundreds and the ten stations. So, well, originally, you know, we're originally going to do this at, at school, and then maybe we thought we'd invite people over. But right now, while we're taping this, this is the middle of coronavirus, and so we don't really have much in the way of help. But luckily, we have two groups of friends, Lila and Jay, and Jay and Lila, and they are going to help us do the rest of this. Okay, so here they are. Hi guys, we're here to take care of the tens. We've got two tens here, but we can't really start until the hundreds group finishes their stuff. So I guess we'll have to wait for the hundreds team. Hi guys, nice Hi. to see you. What's up? All right, so we're gonna take care of the hundreds. All right, we're gonna do the hundreds. All right, so what do we have here? We have eight hundreds. Eight hundreds. I wonder how many um, groups of five we can pull out of this. I wonder. I wonder. You want to do it? Let's count them sure. out. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right, yeah. five. Just one group. All right. Well, that's about all we can do because we can only work with hundreds. No. So we're going to pass on our extras to the tens team. Right, guys? You take care of the rest. So I'm going to just drop them in the magic box. That's about it for us. Bye. See you later. Great. Thanks, guys. Well, let's see. They put three hundreds in the box, and this is a magic box, and so it should be able to give us um, 30, thirty tens. tens. Yeah. So let's see if we can hit that. Look, there's an envelope in the box. Let's see what we've got here. Look at this, all these tens. That's pretty neat how they put the hundreds in and we got the tens out. But that's because three hundreds is the same as thirty tens. So we've got thirty tens from them plus our two. So how many groups of five are we going to pull out? I don't know. Well, let's start counting. All right. Five. And uh, four. Let's see. one, two, three, four. Are you sure those are all fives? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Are we missing some? <gasps> There's some more tens hiding in the in the envelope. <sighs> Naughty envelope. Ah, so Give much for a magic time. box. It must have taken a while for the box to finish converting. So how many is that? Box always does that. One, two, three, four, five. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and... Uh, mm, four, five. Four, five, all right. And then we've got two left. So what do we end up with here? We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six piles and two left. Well, that's about it for us. We can't do anything with these, so uh, why don't you drop these in the magic yeah. box for the for the ones team, and then uh, and then we're out. All right, thanks Bye. guys. See you later. See you later. All right, great. That was great, guys. Really appreciate your help on those hundreds and tens. So let's see. Um, we should be able to have our um, the ones from the from the tens they put in in the in the box. So is there an envelope in there? Great. 
let's dump it out. Let's see. This time, let's make sure um, we get all the all the ones out. Silly envelope. It does it all the time. You wouldn't believe how many times it did that. Really? Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't let all... Do they, do they all finish converting? We only had 20 this time instead of 30, so it probably wouldn't take quite as long. Let's go ahead and get those out. Oh, there's one more. All right, let's see. Is this totally empty? Totally yep, empty. totally empty. All right, so let's see. How many, uh, how many of these? We've got our original seven, plus we've got the 20 from the other group. So should we count these out? Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Getting good at this. One, two, three, four. Take one of these. Five. How many did you get? You still counting? Let's see. Have I have got, only five. We've got a group of five here. Okay, then I have ten. And then we've got uh, two. Two left. So one, two, three, four, five, and two left. So let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yep. Wait, five and five, two. 10, so 15, let's see. 20. We got one group of hundreds. Twenty-seven. We got six groups of tens. That's one hundred plus sixty plus five groups of ones. So that's five with two left. So that's one hundred sixty-five with the remainder two. And wouldn't you know, that is the answer. To eight hundred twenty-seven divided by five. So we did it. Great. Isn't that exciting? Was that that was more exciting, wasn't it? Oh yeah. That was that was definitely more exciting. All right. Well, that's it for us. We'll see you later. Thanks, helpers. Okay. Yep. Bye. Well, that was a lot better, wasn't it? Now we're going to replay that scene, but this time we're going to show long division alongside. And we're going to demonstrate that what we just did was exactly the same as the long division algorithm. So what do we have here? We have eight hundreds. Eight hundreds. I wonder how many um, groups of five we can pull out of this. I wonder. I wonder. You want to do it? Let's count them sure. out. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right, five. Yeah. Just one group. All right. Well, that's about all we can do because we can only work with hundreds. No. So we're going to pass on our extras to the tens team. Right, guys? You take care of the rest. So I'm going to just drop them in the magic box. And that's about it for us. Bye. See you later. Great. Thanks, guys. Well, let's see. They put three hundreds in the box, and this is a magic box, and so it should be able to give us... Um, 30 tens. Yeah, so let's see if we can get that. Look, there's an envelope in the box. Let's see what we've got here. Look at this, all these tens. That's pretty neat how they put the hundreds in and we got the tens out. But that's because three hundreds is the same as 30 tens. So we've got 30 tens from them plus our two. So how many groups of five are we going to pull out? I don't know. Well, let's start counting. All right. One, two, three, and uh, mm, four, five. Four, five, right. And then we've got two left. So what do we end up with here? We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six piles and two left. Well, that's about it for us. We can't do anything with these, so uh, let's drop these in the magic yeah. box. For the for the ones team, and then uh, and then we're out. All right, thanks Bye. guys. See you later. See you later. All right, great. That was great, guys. Really appreciate your help on those hundreds and tens. So let's see. Um, we should be able to have our um, the ones from the from the tens they put in in the in the box. So is there an envelope in there? Great. Let's dump it out. Let's see. Oh, there's one more. All right, let's see. Is this totally empty? Totally yep, empty. totally empty. All right. 
So let's see how many, uh, how many of these. We've got our original seven, plus we've got the 20 from the other group. So should we count these out? Okay. Let's see. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, and two left. So let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yep. Wait, five and five, two. Ten, so 15, let's see. 20. We got one group of hundreds. Twenty-seven. We got six groups of tens. That's one hundred plus sixty plus five groups of ones. So that's five with two left. So that's one hundred sixty-five with the remainder two. And wouldn't you know, that is the answer. To eight hundred twenty-seven divided by five. So we did it. Great. Isn't that exciting? Wasn't that that was more exciting, wasn't it? Oh yeah. That was that was definitely more exciting. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that you've learned a little bit more about how we think about algorithms and how we make them better. And I also hope that you have a deeper understanding of long division. Maybe now, instead of just being a series of memorized steps, you'll actually have a feel for how and why it works. Thanks for watching.